Many more for rocks today. Mountain sizes are high above the surrounding areas, mountains, high roofs, and deep crust. Stress, pressure, strength. Those are some topics we talked about. But first, we're going to talk about compression. It's the push of the rock towards the center and slip in the form. Some form new metamorphs. Structures, tension is pulling apart. The pieces of rocks can also slip away and fracture and deposit minerals into the structures. Pieces. Okay, shear is sliding past the two rocks. Shallow, shallow party sometimes folds between the two rock masses. And deep ductile. It is coming in wide zones to see shear. Uh, the zones of shearing is called shear zones. Volcanic island arcs are formed by the volcanic underwater. Zincline is, is old and old, the deepest of And then the touch block should prevent this manual zincline spinal. It's a U shaped form of mountains. And syncline is the end of the rainbow shaped one. You need to syncline. Sorry. And it's the shaped as young or young is the age of mountains. It's unfortunately. How can you tell what happens? Then you have to look at the direction of the rock players. And then you can look at the rock players. Look at the rock players. If it's older, you can look at them. The biggest ones are usually the top and the ones it's with the pages and the newspaper. It's like you can literally see the different times. Be careful of cross cutting because those ones are usually in the gray areas that you would assume would be over. Or a genesis. These are two types of volcanic arc, island arc, and cross a volcanic arc. And I like to know this is VIA. CVA. Collisions of the two continental plates and the faulting blocks. Mountain are faulted. Uh, when does a collapse happen? Rocks move from the top to the bottom or the, to the base. Taller the higher the bigger the mountain, the younger. The stronger base is likely not so tall, shorter mountains, mostly means older mountains. Lots of these underwater mountains on Earth. We are somewhat forget about these, but they're actually bigger than Mount Everest. Like, there's one in Hawaii. Mapping the seafloor with the is one of the first base. Similar sound waves. It's like during winter two. Like the British guy discovered it. And satellite screens to be preferred. Satellite is like the preferred way your dad is. It's so we'll get its topography. There's only 5% of the ocean that's actually been mapped. The ocean invests its back body of water with salt. Okay. Orogenesis is the mountain building. This is the creation of mountain ranges and depends on the plate tectonics. Mountain gives records to weathering, landslides, glaciation, and erosion. Weathering degrades the mountain. Most mountains were about less than 100 million years old. How do we know what a mountain is? It's well defined as the large land that rises vertically above the land around the area. Mountains are formed through tectonic forces or volcanic effects. Old mountains, we talked about a second ago, but here's a recap. Old mountains have been eroded. Banned with. In some of them, glaciation, that green lip marks. Uh, things were not the same as they were when they first started. Very, very, very old, hundreds of millions of years old. Young mountains are about 45 million years old. It's the biggest, the older, bigger, 
bigger than one of them. They're bigger than all their mountains. And there's some of them are still getting much, much bigger. Okay, Ice Ocity is... Ice Ocity. Rocks grow deep within the mountains. Go out horizontally. Okay, side to side, horizontally. Some point and seem to flow. It's got this structure. Back to Orgesis. Again, we're doing another recap. There are many types of volcanic... There are many types. One of the first ones is Volcanic Island Arcs. Volcanic Island Arcs are developed when the oceanic plate subducts under another oceanic plate tectonic. These results in either Volcanic Island Arc, the simplest mountain belt, or the deep ocean trenches. The Mary Anna Trench is the deepest place on Earth. Ocean, there's a trench there that's deeper than Mount Everest. It's really cool. James can't run away there. Okay, the Continental Volcanic Arc developed when an oceanic plate is subducted beneath the Continental Plate. Okay, so the Continental Plate is subducted. No, the oceanic is subducted beneath the Continental conti the continent Plate. Okay, this is the most violent one. It's called the Continental Volcano. And Plutons, this is where crystallized magma deep inside their mantle. If there's magma, it's gotta be in the mantle because the crust is, you know, it's just, the crust is rock. It's, it's like right up like, the front of the mantle, the top. Himalayas are the youngest and the highest mountains formed from the continental collision of, on Earth and still are forming from 40 to 45 million years old. They are formed when India was colliding with Asia. This happened because of the continental volcanic arc formation on the Asian continent. It collided the crust and it did not subduct. Instead, you know, it went above and built this big mountain. The compressional forces helped build many mountains. Compressional forces typically end in reverse or overthrust faulting. How do rocks bend? Four major factors that determine bending or breaking. The type of forces applied is the stress, the pressure, the temperature, the rock mineral composition. This what 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 the heck are we looking at? What kind of rock is this? Composition. Okay, my many inst my instructor says change to all change to size and shape or position of the rock body is a response to stress. Size and shape are a result to stress. Okay, response to it, not just a result, of response. Okay, stress is just an unequal direction force in five. Deformation is three types that are important. Elastic, ductile, elastic, brittle, or fractured. Elastic deformation is when the rock bounces back like squeezing a pillow or rubber thing. Ductile causes permanent change, does not recover from this. It's, you can't recover, it's like the worst thing. Strength refers to the ability of an object to prolong deformities. Strain occurs when the stress is unable to reverse the shape or size of the rock. I talked about this earlier, I think. It is the outcome of the stress. Stress process, one, elastic, two, plastic region, ductile, and then the final is fracture. This leads to the ability where it's brittle, it just breaks. It's like the coup de gras. Okay, the brittle. Rupture deformations when the rock undergoes almost no change until the simile cracks. Applied on the zone of the weakness. Brutal and deformation forms the fractures or joints, zones of fault lines, or brittle attributes to the sudden change. Reverse faulting, normally faulting strikes. Strike a faulting. So the way I remember reverse faulting is like high to low. No, excuse me. Low to high is reverse faulting. 
high to low was normal folding, and then strike up was like sliding past one another. Brittle rocks are usually granite, quartzite. The tile rocks are salt, shale, marble. These are some of the familiar ones. More ductile and it's deeper, more brittle, shallower depth. So it's like top layer. What is the reality? What is really in the different of stress and strains? You guys know the last you crap. Just to let you remember. Force of rocks is given. It's you know, it could be compression, tensional stress on the rock. Strain is the plastic, ductile, or brittle means the results in the shape and size of the rock structure due to the stress on put on the rock. So, and then the earthquakes. Okay, this is, this is gonna be just facts. Earthquakes release of energy crystalled with the sphere by faults. The Earth is 4.6 billion years old. In the 1600s, it was the relative age dating. They discovered this. One of the minerals, it's called metal. It's always an ore. Or the ores are always metal. Epicenters, this is part of earthquakes again. Is the point directly above the focus? It is the earthquake of, of an earthquake on the Earth's surface. Back to metamorphic rocks! The temperature is the most important factor out of all the metamorphic factors out of the three of them. Three are temperature, pressure, fluids, and they're all controlled by the different temps, different pressures, different fluids inside. Temperature results in recrystallization and creates new minerals. How's the earth warmer internally? Well, energy from the earth has been released by radioactive decay. Thermal energy leftovers from an earth was just a baby. Or younger, I guess you could say. Formation of rocks is strongly influenced with the increase of temperature and pressure and as higher pressures and temperatures we get crystals and these increases of temperatures and increases of pressure increase the depth we get different minerals at different levels of depth and temperature too so we can get new stuff different temperatures and depths and that pressure can change the mineralogy most metamorphic rocks are created regional metamorphosis. This means that segments were, were deformed along convergent boundaries. You know, convergent mountains, okay. There are different levels of stress along the wide range of the area. 